Good evening, everybody. It is so good to see you here on a beautiful Friday evening. I hope you've had a wonderful week. I know my week has been good. My wife's week has been good. She's feeling better because she's uh, had a little bit of trouble adjusting here to the altitude here in Wyoming since we're from Minnesota. But it is fantastic to be with you here on this beautiful, beautiful uh, Friday evening at the beginning of the Sabbath. And I do hope that you will receive a blessing from our service today. The title for our particular lesson today, our devotional, is Fair Weather in the Soul. And our scripture reading comes from the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 44, verses 21 and 22. Remember these things, O Jacob and Israel, for you are my servant. I formed you you are my servant, O Israel, you will not be forgotten by me. I have blotted out your transgressions like a cloud, and your sins like a mist return to me, for I have redeemed you. You see, each one of us has often failed Jesus. And when we do, Jesus makes up the difference for us. And so... Uh, as it says in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4, the just shall live by faith. How does God show us his faithfulness? By forgiving our sins. In illuminating analogy, notice that our sins are like a cloud in how many ways this appears to be true. Clouds shut out the sun and our sins separate us from God and hide his face from us. Your iniquities have separated us between you and your God and your sins have hidden his face from you that he will not hear. And we find this in Isaiah 59 2. Clouds come in various sizes and shapes, large and small, white and black. There are many kinds of sin, some foul and black and diabolical. We shrink back from them. But there are some so-called white sins that may be even more dangerous and are more subtle. God does not regard all sins as of equal magnitude. There are degrees of sins of guilt in his estimation as well as that in of man but however trifling this or that wrong act may seem in the eyes of man no sin is small in the sight of god man's judgment is partial imperfect but god estimates all things as they really are the drunker is despised and is told that his sin will exclude him from heaven, while pride, selfishness, and covetousness too often go unrebuked. But these sins, that are especially offensive to God, for they are contrary to the benevolence of his character, to that unselfish love which is the very atmosphere of the unfallen universe. He who falls into some grosser sins may feel a sense of his shame and poverty and his need for grace of Christ, but pride feels no need, and so it closes the heart against Christ and the infinite blessing he came to give. A divine act, God's divine mercy is shown in the blotting out of the clouds. He does not merely blow them away, he blots them out. Then there is fair weather in the soul, then we can bask in the forgiving smiles of God. Happy day, we are no longer live under the clouds of sin or the shadow of death. The sun of righteousness bursts through the cloud with a healing light. Solomon said, light is sweet. If this may be said of physical light, how much sweeter is spiritual light? How sweet it is that God shows us his infinite fulfillment by forgiving and forgetting our sins. I hope, really truly hope, that you have enjoyed our Friday night devotional. May you have a beautiful, beautiful Sabbath. Let's close with a word of prayer. Our dear, kind, loving Heavenly Father, we ask a special blessing upon 
each and every one that came and viewed our Friday devotional this week. May they have fair weather in their soul as God has promised when we ask for forgiveness. As it says in 1 John 1 9, if we forgive our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And may this be our prayer as we begin the Sabbath. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Good night.